Alright guys, so now we're going to talk about ethanol as a fuel and why it can be called renewable. Um, we'll delve briefly onto its downsides, uh, but not as much. But the most common place you'll see ethanol as fuel uh, is in unleaded petrol. Okay. And it is usually in there at a thing of about 10%. And this is done for environmental reasons. Um, so, where does it come from? Essentially, it's fermented. You get sugar from corn. Okay, so ethanol from corn um, starts out as one of two ways. There's sugar, alright? So the sugar is then fermented and glucose and fruct using glucose and fructose. Or, alternatively, you can use the husks. The husk is cellulose, and by hydrolyzing it, etc., we can use cellulose to make ethanol by breaking it down to sugar. So you hydrolyze it down into the glucose, and then from there you go on with how to make um, your ethanol. Okay, so let's have a look at the process. Now here we're going to use the right shapes for a flow chart. So we start off with corn, and we have three inputs. That's why it is shaped like so this is the shape of an input, a rhombus. Parallelogram, rhombus, well, I don't care. All right, so carbon dioxide goes in, sunshine, H2O, that's what gives us photosynthesis, but you also have to input fertilizer and pesticides, okay? Um, to get the sugar out, which is then fermented. You get ethanol roughly 10 to 12% with water, so the rest is water. All right, that 10 to 12% is really important. Um, it is then distilled, because it, it, it stops at about 10 to 12% because that's where it kills off the um, the yeast. We then distill it with water. Uh, sorry, we distill it down and we take the water out of it to give it 95, 97 to 100% ethanol. This is then blended with petrol to about 10% ethanol and burns in cars nicely. This releases carbon dioxide, which can then go back into the corn and so forth. So... Carbon dioxide is released and reused and renews. Um, corn can be grown very quickly, which makes it renewable. Um, it is not zero emission though, okay? So like pretty much a lot of this, you know, uses carbon dioxide, okay? So energy is used in the fer fermentation. That's carbon dioxide because it's, you know, burned. Distillation uses CO, like it burns things to distill it. Therefore, carbon dioxide release. Um, making and traveling the fertilizer around and transporting all of this CO2 is released so it is not zero emissions okay it's reduced emissions but not zero emissions um, it is still cleaner than 100% petrol significantly cleaner than 100% petrol alright um, see you later